Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Castle here and we are on part six of the Pete Minhara story. And when we left off previously, Pete had gone back to live at home. He had asked his mom to forgive him and she forgave him and he forgave her. And he got to meet Mrs. Ramirez again after a Christian concert. And so life was better for Pete. And he actually started teaching Bible studies and he would go and talk to people on the street and he would tell them, I know what it's like to be in the lifestyle you are in. I used to do drugs. I used to have a very terrible life. Jesus can change you. He loved teaching. In fact, a friend encouraged him to become a substitute teacher and he accepted the challenge. And one day he was teaching a very difficult class and it was so bad, he had to get on the emergency phone and call the principal and say, get someone down here. These kids are out of control. They're swearing, they're throwing things, they're spitting, totally out of control. He was so discouraged after that, but he did not give up. With God's help, he kept on going. In fact, Pete Minharis became Dr. Pete Minharis. He got a PhD. That is the highest college degree a person can earn. He became a lifelong teacher and a pastor of a church in Los Angeles. He went from using drugs and drunkenness to making a difference in the world. Boys and girls, you too can make a difference in the world. God has the best plans for you. You don't have to live in another town or country or even get a PhD or college degree. You can tell someone in your neighborhood or your family about the Lord Jesus. You can also pray for them. Is there someone right now that you can pray for? Remember Mrs. Ramirez prayed for Pete every day? We don't always get to see or hear the answers to prayer that God has, but we know he, we know he hears us. So I have a few questions I want to ask you. I want to ask you, have you asked Jesus to be your Savior? Have you told anyone about it? Who can you tell about Jesus? And who can you pray for? If you have not asked Jesus to be your Savior, you can do that anytime. Jesus loves you. He has the best plan for you. And all you have to do is tell him in your own words. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. He took the punishment for all the things that we think, say, and do that displease God. The Bible calls that sin. And after he died on the cross, took the punishment for our sin, he rose again three days later. He did that for you. So if you haven't done that, you can do that anytime. And if you have done that, that's really good news that he wants you to go tell others about, just like someone told Pete. So boys and girls, thank you for joining me and keep seeking Jesus.